Ladies and gentlemen, we have an uh, artist rendition here of the new RCMP detachment headquarters for Nipua. And uh, gentlemen, if you just introduce yourself and tell us a wee bit about this project. Mark? Uh, Sergeant Ron Tanos. I've been here since 2012, but was here previously uh, when we were amalgamated with uh, Carberry and Nipua for the last one time. And at the time it was talked about uh, having a new detachment and now it's come to fruition. And uh, we're out, dated in our old building. And this new building is going to not only look after what we have for the present, but for the future. So it's going to be a, a real good enhancement. And you, sir? Uh, Superintendent Jim Merza from the Manitoba West District. Uh, police is oversees the uh, operations for this area. Uh, and as Mark has said, uh, this has been a project that's uh, been in the works and we're very excited to see it come to fruition. And uh, we're very, uh, we look forward to the commitment uh, uh, of the policing service to the community. Okay, and this building will be located south of the new fire hall, correct? That's correct. I was here with Darcy. Uh, I was here uh, as an inspector and then I went up uh, to, I transferred out, went up to Juniper and I worked up there for the role and I came back down in uh, October. So I know this area very well. I was uh, this, uh, stationed out at the Port of Ferrari for many, many years and then I found that family that's out there in the rural area. So I know this community and I know the area. I'm very fortunate. I, I would like to meet uh, with the CAO and the Mayor Sapan. Just because of COVID right now, uh, what we've done, we've restricted our meetings uh, because we want to make sure everyone is safe. I haven't even had a chance to go out to the detachments because I came in October. I came from New York. We had no COVID at the time. And then to come into an environment with this COVID, you're like, it was an adjustment for me. And then we went to red. So then it was okay, uh, restricted our movement, but uh, you know, it's important that uh, myself and Colby come and meet with the mayor and council members just to ensure that um, we have that relationship and uh, communication because that's the most vital part is communicating. And uh, we want to make sure that we're providing the level that you expect from us and vice versa. So uh, that's important for me, but uh, yeah, I apologize for taking so long. It's just because we're trying to adhere to the rules and this is a great opportunity for them all. But uh, you know, my phone is always available. I would always ask, because I never, Colby is the detachment commander, and he's responsible to ensure that your needs are being met, and then mine is really go to see that, uh, as you all aware, we are answering for the rest of the, uh, the uh, strategic plans that are being pushed forward, and then we, that's my responsibility. And we're close with the commanders, but you know, my phone is always available because uh, I mean, really, at the end of the day, we're a service provider to the community and, and to yourself, and we need to have that uh, ability to converse on there. You know, and sometimes, uh, I'm not very formal. I find that when you have to be formal, you have to be formal, but to have those conversations where it's just those uh, impromptu calls or something like that, by all means, call any time. Because if the, you know, you guys know better than I do as well that. Sometimes there's information that's out there that's not the correct information and it's from third or fourth or fifth hand and therefore it's great to get it right from the uh, horse's mouth and I can tell you, you know, I, I'm very open and honest and uh, if I don't know something, I'll tell you, yeah, I don't know it, I'll find out for you, but that, that's my personality and uh, no, that's, I've got 30 years of service with the force. Um, in Manitoba and B, but most of my services in Manitoba, and I uh, absolutely love Manitoba. Uh, I think it's a great province. We have four seasons, and uh, we have a lot of things. I think the challenge this summer for me, where I'm staying with Kobe and Mark, is uh, my concern is I think because of COVID, you know, our highways are going to be inundated with travel and some of our park areas because people are now wanting to get out and. Uh, Look at what. So I, I think the concern right now, I think, is ensuring that we've got proper uh, enforcement. I think the idea that uh, me here, like one of the three people driving 177, you know what I mean? That's just it's absolutely awesome, man. Like, it's, it's crazy. And uh, but they've kind of come from that part, and they're going to take the 16 highway, 
and they're going to head up to Riding Mountain National Park, and I think it's going to be very, very busy when we sum up to that. That's what we need to be focusing on, is trying to stop all the, uh, and not stop, trying to stop speeds, but the people, as you say, everyone from the uh, city are going to be heading up to these communities. You're going to save the 100. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but I look forward to it. If there's any questions you have or, or want answered, by all means, ask away. And, uh, and I hope, like you say, uh, this is the first time I've actually got to come up to one of the communities and meet with the, uh, the leadership. And, uh, and I'm, I was missing it because I was stuck in Dolphin and not leaving the building just because we were told, hey, yeah. uh, reduce your contact with but you know, we're very fortunate to have a uh, uncle, and I gotta tell you, you know, from the bottom of my heart, I'm very, I'm very appreciative of the community building and the detachment. And you know, we are, you know, we are part of the, the community and the community part of the RCMP. I mean, that's if you follow sort of appeals uh, rules, you know, uh, community is the police as well. And uh, so, therefore, to show that you're building this detachment and. Uh, it's a, it's an it's a greatly appreciated because it shows that how committed you are to have your CP is your police force of choice and um, and we will uh, do the best we can to provide service to you on Announcing the opening we'll of the, the uh, well. yeah. new RCMP station for Nipawa. Dignitaries gathered here including Mayor Blake McCutcheon, town councilors, representatives of the meet of the RCMP from the area and uh, ready? official yep. sod turkey. There, there we go. Here. That's right. it. <laughs> Obviously hard ground. I think we need the <laughs>